Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Daily Value. I'm William Wallace, and today we're looking at a unique compound and supplement that's been making waves in the field of healthy aging, longevity, and cognitive health. That compound is nicotinamide riboside, or NR as it's abbreviated. NR is a precursor to NAD+, that's nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, that is a critical coenzyme in cellular energy production and metabolism. Now, research over the past few years has explored this compound's potential to elevate NAD levels specifically in the brain and specifically in populations with conditions that negatively impact cognitive function like Parkinson's disease. Effectively raising NAD levels in the brain has implications for neuroprotection and cognitive longevity, at least that's the general idea. Now, today we're going to look at the effects of NR supplementation on cerebral NAD levels, focusing on a recent study that used newer advancements in a specific brain imaging technique to show for the first time that a specific dose of NR was indeed able to increase NAD levels in the cerebrum of the human brain. Before we jump in, a quick reminder, this podcast is for educational purposes only and should not replace professional medical advice. Now let's get started. A brief background on NAD and its importance. NAD plays a crucial role in mitochondrial function, DNA repair, and cell survival. However, as we age, our NAD levels go down, which has been linked to the onset of various age-related diseases like neurodegenerative disorders, including Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. A study in 2014 by Guest et al. found 14% lower levels of the reduced form of NAD, that's NADH, in cerebral spinal fluid of participants over the age of 45 compared to their younger counterparts under the age of 45 years old. Another study conducted in 2012 looked at people ages 15 to 77 years old and found that on average, NAD levels declined 50% over the course of aging. In that same study, PARP enzyme activity in skin was inversely related to NAD levels. PARP enzymes, or poly-ADP ribose polymerase enzymes, especially PARP1, use NAD to repair DNA. And so what this means is that PARP is having to repair more DNA damage as we age, but at the same time having a higher demand for an NAD pool that is depleting for this reason and others that accompany aging. It has been suggested that maintaining or restoring NAD plus levels in the brain may be greatly important for sustaining neuronal function and overall cognitive health as we age. So how exactly does this increase in NAD plus translate into cognitive or neuroprotective benefits? Well, NAD serves as a substrate for several key enzymes, including sirtuins, which regulate gene suppression. That's a process that becomes more variable and stochastic across genes as we age, feeding into the epigenetic alteration portion of the aging hallmarks. Elevated NAD levels may support regular functioning of these pathways. Moreover, increased NAD availability supports mitochondrial function, which is crucial for sustaining the high energy demands of neurons. Additionally, NAD plays a role in regulating inflammation through its interaction with PARP enzymes like I mentioned just a minute ago. In neurodegenerative diseases, chronic low-grade inflammation is a major driver of neuronal death. By replenishing NAD levels, NR supplementation could modulate inflammatory responses in the brain, providing neuroprotective effects against age-related inflammation. Nicotinamide riboside, or NR, a derivative of vitamin B3, has gained attention as an NAD precursor capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier. This ability opens up potential avenues for addressing brain NAD depletion and its downstream effects, but the question remains. Can NR supplementation effectively raise NAD levels in the brain consistently and reliably across different sets of conditions? Well, a recent phase one clinical trial that was the NADPARC study published in 2022 showed that one gram of nicotinamide riboside for 30 days did increase brain NAD levels in people with Parkinson's disease. Now, very interestingly, a very recent study published this July in the journal Magnetic Resonance in Medicine was the first to show that a similar dose of nicotinamide riboside could increase brain levels of NAD in healthy participants with an average age of 32 years old. 
using advanced magnetic resonance spectroscopy, the researchers were able to non-invasively quantify NAD levels in the brain of healthy adults before and after a single dose of NR. The study's objective was to explore how quickly and to what extent NR could influence cerebral NAD concentrations in the human brain. Participants were administered a single dose of NR at 900 milligrams. Cerebral NAD concentrations were reassessed at multiple time points post-supplementation ranging from 4 hours to 24 hours. The results showed that NR supplementation led to a significant increase in cerebral NAD levels within four hours of ingestion. NAD concentrations in the brain rose on average 16%, which was significant compared to baseline. While systemic NAD levels are known to rise with NR supplementation, the cerebral-specific increase demonstrated in this study is considered an advancement in this field of research. It confirms that NR can cross the blood-brain barrier and effectively raise NAD concentrations in the brain even after a single dose and even in young, healthy people. One of the most remarkable findings is the speed of the response. Previous studies on systemic NAD elevation suggested that sustained supplementation might be required for measurable effects. However, the acute response seen in this trial suggests rapid uptake and utilization of NAD precursors in the brain, which may hold promise for addressing acute cognitive stressors or injuries. While the study findings are promising, it's important to note the limitations. The trial focused on acute supplementation and did not explore the long-term effects of NR on brain NAD levels. It remains unclear whether continued supplementation could sustain or further increase NAD concentrations over time. Additionally, this study can answer questions about how, how NR might affect individuals with pre-existing cognitive impairments or neurodegenerative conditions. There is also the question of dose. While 900 milligrams of NR was effective in this study, some research suggests that higher doses may be required to achieve optimal results, particularly in individuals with significant NAD depletion. Future studies would need to explore these variables to determine the most effective dosing strategy for neuroprotection. So what does this mean for those of us interested in cognitive longevity? NR supplementation appears to be a promising strategy for elevating NAD levels in the brain, potentially offering benefits for cognitive health and neuroprotection. However, more research is needed to understand the long-term effects and optimal dosing strategies. For now, individuals interested in maintaining cognitive health as they age may consider incorporating NR into their supplement regimen if no contraindications are present. So, to sum it up, this pioneering study, and it was pioneering, provides the first in vivo evidence that acute NR supplementation can significantly raise NAD levels in the human brain, opening up new possibilities for interven interventions aimed at preserving cognitive function with age. While this is an exciting development, we're still in the early stages of understanding the full implications of NR for brain health. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Value. If you found today's episode informative, be sure to subscribe and share with others who might benefit. Until next time, stay sharp and stay healthy.